All right, so we have our completed battery bank. So, we have four 12 volt batteries, 150 amp hour, 55 amp hours a piece, excuse me, a total of 620 amp hours. We've uh, th this is wired up in parallel, parallel, excuse me, parallel with uh, optimal load distribution, as I call it. Um, looks a little bit jumbled, and uh, you know a lot of a lot of people have said that I, it seems like I could have done it in an easier way, but honestly, this is the best possible way I could have wired it up with this specific design. So I'm gonna come over here, and we have this design right here. It could be wired up this way. It looks a little bit more simplistic, but it's not really what I'm looking for because I'm putting a lot of load on this, charging and discharging. So we're using this balance draw method here. And my battery design is uh, slightly different than this battery design, which is why we get something that looks more like this. My simple little schematic I drew up. Same exact wiring, different battery design. Come back over here. All right, so uh, another note here. Um, some of my friends have told me I go overkill. I put together all my own one watt wire. It took me a couple hours to put it all together. Um, it, it's true. For most people, you don't have to do it this way. Um, I tend to take it to the next level and do things right. So made all my own uh, one watt wire battery terminal wiring, and uh, it's working out really good. Another note here is that if, if you can see, some of this wire is doing... Big old loops. Well, the reason for this is because I needed to keep my battery wire all the same length. That way the potential is the same between each battery and you don't have discharge and charging differentials. So basically my longest length was here to here, 18 inches. So every single one, even this one, which could have been done in about 6 inches, I kept it at 18 inch length. Um, it, it keeps things real balanced. It's real nice. So what we're going to do, I have my battery charger over here. These things have been at rest um, at below freezing temperatures for about six months now. I have not been able to get to get to this part of the project. So I'm going to go ahead and hook my battery meter up, put my negative there, and see where my voltage is. Um, the manufacturer of my batteries has told me that a uh, about 12.723, 12.72 or 3 volts um, is, a, is a full battery at rest. And I'm pretty sure they're right about that. So we're going to go ahead and turn this guy on. Make sure that I'm not on AC. I'm on DC. There we go. All right, and if this thing's hooked up properly, we should be able to test each positive terminal and get the same exact reading. So... 12.73. That is a full battery bank. Let's come on over here. Let's see. Yep. Positive over here. Yep. Ah, looks like we have full batteries. These things have stayed in really, really nice shape. Excellent. So we don't even need the battery charger today. But a quick word on battery chargers. This is my, it's a cat, Caterpillar, CBC25E. I'm not really trying to sell you anything here, but uh, I highly recommend doing some heavy research on your own battery charger if you're looking to have an advanced setup. Um, the industry has some issues with, um, with voltage, if you ask me. Like this here is a 25 amp charger. It's great and all, but... It, it really doesn't matter as much as people think it does. The, all the all the hoo-ha about how many amps your your battery charger charges at doesn't really mean as much as you think. Um, it, it really comes down to voltage, really, really. So my, these batteries here at rest, 12.73 volts, that's a full battery. But when they're charging, battery manufacturer VMAX, VMAX tanks has specifically told me 14.7 volts and you should call your battery manufacturer and ask them what they recommend for charging and it's almost always between 14.4 and 14.8 volts charging um, not at rest charging and I went through four battery chargers before I came to this one I would hook them up test them and they would be charging at 13.2 volts 13.6 volts 13.3 volts which will never ever ever get my batteries fully charged. No matter how many amps they push, 
it will never ever charge them. It needs to get them up to 14.7 volts and hold them there for a couple hours to get them charged fully. So be really aware of battery chargers. Um, I'm not going to name any names of brands that I, uh, that I went through. I'm not really here to do that, but test your own battery charger. Make sure it's meeting your needs. Um, it's really hard to find the information online as well. I mean, I, I tried for hours, so it might just come down to you testing. This is a really nice one. I also know that Stanley makes a really nice one. Um, yeah, look into it. So this is the setup right now. Batteries don't need charging. Could actually unplug that. We're going to be putting these in the RV and getting the solar panels hooked up with our, our uh, charge controller hooked up uh, as soon as possible. It's the next step here, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.